Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. So today we've got some interesting things ahead of us. First of all, the keen among you may notice that I added a couple of solar panels. Used up the last of our solar cells, I believe. And also moved a little bit of stuff over here onto the platform. Uh, last time after the episode I went ahead and filled out the rest of the platform so it's all built up. Moved our med bay over here, the oxygen generator, Put the oxygen tank over here, but I turned that off until we get some more ice. Probably throw a hydrogen tank in here at some point as well. Just so we got plenty of stored gases for when we later want to take off. Until then though, we're looking pretty good. So our big mission for today is going to be to design a little rover that can help me drive around and find some ores. So that should be pretty fun. Let's see where we want to do this. May build a little platform off of here or some ramps or something so that this can uh, support us. Let's grab some steel plates, why don't we? Alright. Grab a couple of those. We'll just make this a little wider so we can build the vehicle up on a platform. It'll make it a little easier. And then we can drive it off of that platform if we put little slopes in here. Let's see, armor slope, all right. There we go. I think that'll work out pretty nice. I'm not gonna bother filling those out because we'll probably remove at least some of them later. Uh, turn the volume down on the sound, so hopefully it's a little easier for you guys to hear me, especially when I'm doing stuff like welding. So let's go ahead, switch our control panel here, and let's take a look at what we're going to need. Armor blocks, obviously. Let's see now, do we want the gigantic five size wheels? Do we even have the five size wheels? I think we might just have the threes. Makes it easy to decide. All right, and that's a right, so I'll actually put it slightly to the right. Oh, it's going to be all of them are going to be in that. All right. So we got a wheel. Let's see, we're going to want a gyroscope for sure. Uh, we're going to want an oxygen generator. I don't think we'll need an oxygen tank. A generator should be enough. And let's see, a uh, cockpit. There we go. I'll get one of those on there. Uh, we're definitely going to want an ore detector. Again, I don't think there should be anything hostile, so I'm not going to worry too much about putting weapons on it. We'll want a spotlight. I think we'll do a small reactor for this. Although I could probably make a battery and solar powered one, because really these don't use that much power. Let's do that. Let's not use up our reactor components. Although I don't have any solar panels right now. So I guess we're using some of our reactor components. But we'll still put a battery on so we can add solar panel later. And I think that's all we're going to need for the moment. So let's get to work. Alright, let's see if I can figure out how to switch this thing to the smaller one. It's not with tab. <laughs> okay. Well, I will get back to you guys in just a minute once I figure out how to switch this. All right, there we are. So it looks like, uh, as the little thing down at the bottom says, all you got to do is press the number again to switch the size. So we'll do that. Let's see. It's not going to like us building one just like this. So let's go back to here and get a landing gear. And we'll just deconstruct this landing gear when we're done. That ought to do nicely. We'll switch back to here. Did not mean to click there. Okay, it's getting annoying. Move those back. So apparently, pressing Control, which is what you need to change your number, is the same as actually clicking on something. So that's news to me. 
we'll just kind of build this off of here so that we can put our wheels on it. So we'll keep these two together. Uh, I'm going to leave this part mostly unedited as I design this, although I may cut out some some little bits of stuff that just get repetitive. You know, me just constantly welding blocks and such. But essentially what we're going to use this vehicle for is it's just going to be a little rover so we can drive around. It'll have an ore detector on it and hopefully we'll be able to find some ores and then we can just pop our hand drill out and mine them. Excuse me, got my morning coffee here still. So that's that's kind of the general idea of this. I think we might do a six-wheeled vehicle. You know, I'm just going to use the stuff on this one since that other one was uh, being a pain trying to switch between them. So we'll just grab a couple of the things here. All right. <clears throat> so if we put a wheel on, let's see. Okay, there. So if we roll it, we can get a five-size wheel. I think we're going to try it with just a three-size wheel. Not a one-size, though. That, that's a little bit excessively small. And I think that's the way it needs to go with that larger piece kind of down to the bottom. So let's see. Oh, yeah, that placed it and everything. Perfect. We'll need some more stuff to weld that up. We need some more stuff for that as well, because all we got steel plates. Let's grab a couple more things. We have a few, a few little, little bits and bobs. Let me just grab a bunch of those. Grab some of that. A couple more steel plates. A couple more motors. I think we're going to need a lot of them. Small steel tubes. I hate these things. Always seem to run out of them when you need them. Or you have like a thousand of them and you don't need them. Alright, so that's one wheel. That's kind of what they look like. I think that'll be big enough and I think that'll stick out far enough that we shouldn't have too much trouble with this thing. Uh, one to flip itself over, <laughs> which would be unfortunate. Alright, a 3x3 three three left. Yeah, that is what I want. And we want to align it that way. A wheel couldn't be placed because I was standing there. But we'll be able to fix that uh, before we deploy it. Once we give it power and everything, we can add the wheels later. So that shouldn't be a real big deal. Mostly just annoying. And I'm now realizing this thing is going to be really long if we try to do a, a three wheel designs. We may cut that down a little bit and just do a two wheel. I also don't think I'm going to bother doing too much as far as a connector on it. I think we'll just uh, we'll just kind of have it exist. Let's put the left wheel on. Yeah, we can place it that time. So it seems to be switching between left and right on its own without me telling it. And then I, of course I mess it up by trying to switch it myself. So while this vehicle looks pretty good now, I think it's probably a little bit too short. So we will make it a little bit longer than this and see if we can squeeze that third axle in here.
All right, so there we go. I've made it a little bit longer here. And I think we could probably squeeze another wheel in there if we really wanted to. Let's see, how many blocks do we do between this? This one's... Let's just step up on top here. So these are attached to this block. It's not highlighting for some reason. So that's one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth block we place the wheel again. So one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block, yeah, yeah, we, we got enough room to throw another set of wheels on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Not five, it's number six. And it wants to do a right wheel, of course. Okay. Number six. Now it wants to do a left wheel. Well, I guess it's not switching it intelligently. It's just being wrong all the time. So I'm going to weld these up, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. All right, we're back. We got those all welded up. And uh, I think this thing's... Uh, oh, man, if I can jump up on there. Come on. I think this is looking like it's going to be pretty good. So we'll throw a... Uh, throw a cockpit on here and that should be pretty good that should be nice we'll just use the regular cockpit place it over the wheels because I don't think we need any more of those let's make sure we're not placing it too far forward here <laughs> thought I hurt myself there for a second but I'm good let's grab a little more power and oxygen so I think we'll put a medium cargo container because that'll fit nicely on the size of this thing we're going to put the oxygen generator right behind the cockpit here. Which, if I have enough to weld it up a little bit, we'll see where it's got its, uh, its little things are like off to the side. Its connectors. Grab some displays. And we'll grab all that bulletproof glass. Although I don't think that's going to be enough. No, it's not. And computers. Yeah, not going to be enough bulletproof glass. We'll have to add some to that. We'll have to get some of that and then add it. I think a medium cargo container should be okay. Although, if I remember correctly, a medium cargo container has like the same capacity as my inventory does, since I have the you know the 5,000 liter inventory mod on. So yeah, that'll, that'll line up just like that. That'll be good. We'll go ahead and give that thing a full weld. There we go. And then if we go to cargo, it doesn't actually tell us how much is in the cargo container. But I think a medium cargo container didn't have that much compared to my inventory. Yeah, so a medium cargo container has 3,300 liters. My, uh, my... Inventory has 5,000, so we're going to need uh, more than more than just one of these things. We might actually make this a little bit longer, so uh, see you guys in a second. All right, so there we've got it welded a little bit longer there. We'll go ahead and grab some more interior plates, because I think we're going to need those. Because of course we are. Oh, we only have 12 left. That's not good. We might have to go do an iron run in a minute. So I'm pretty sure we're still out. And I'm also pretty sure we're going to need some. Hopefully my inability to get up on this thing is not indicative of what's going to fall out. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough on there. Did we actually even finish this other one? Yeah, we did. Just barely. We just, just used exactly how many we needed. So we'll need a couple more interior plates uh, to get that piece finished. That'll give us a little more than my suit inventory worth of... Uh, capacity, although 5,000 liters is pretty good. This will give us another 6,000 something. And then, plus, you know, obviously I can fill my suit up whenever we go out mining. So I should be able to bring back, you know, a good 20, 30k of ore uh, each time we go out. So that will be not too bad. Not too shabby, really. Let's go ahead and put a battery on this guy. We'll just stick it here at the end of the line. We're going to need our 20 power cells for that, obviously. And I think I'll put the reactor 
right back here as well. Uh, I could put it on... Do these have ports on them somewhere? I think they have side ports on them. So I could put it on one side, although that would look kind of silly. You could also put it on the front, but leading your vehicle with a nuclear reactor seems mm, a little hazardous. Maybe I just won't connect it in. It just won't be plumbed into everything. That's fine. It doesn't really need to be. So we'll put it right there, and our gyroscope right there. Come on. Lay down. Lay down. All right, so we'll put the reactor and the gyroscope back here. The gyroscope just helps you know if you do fly off a cliff or something, you can kind of reorient the vehicle or avoid rolling it over as much. I'll probably still roll it over. We need one more computer, reactor components times three, and the 20 power cells. And then this thing will be ready for a maiden voyage. We'll grab this uranium as well while we're here. Put that away. Put that away. I think I'll probably armor it up a little bit off camera later. But I'm not super worried about it, to be honest with you. We shouldn't be doing anything too crazy. Meteor storm inbound. Although with my luck it'll probably get hit by a meteor. Like on its maiden voyage. Titanic this thing. So there we go, got both of those welded up. Uh, it sounds like one of those meteors just hit, like, right down there. Oh, yeah, there goes a couple more of them. Oh, there's a lot in that one. They all hit a little far away, but we might go investigate those in our new little ship. Let's go ahead and throw that uranium in there. That'll start charging up that battery, although I'll probably turn it off in just a second, because really you don't need that much power in one of these things. Let's grab some ice. Thousand ice ought to be fine. We don't need that much. Let's get in. Go to the inventory. Can we just drop things? Yeah, straight through the cockpit. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, we're consuming it, but not real fast. So that's gonna be just fine. Battery is taking up all the power. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the reactor off. Okay. Oh, almost forgot to add that wheel in. Let's see. Which one was the one that didn't have a wheel? Can't add a wheel to that. Can't add a wheel to that. And there it is. A beautiful wheel. Need some steel plates, construction components, and a large steel tube. So there we go. We're all wheeled up now. Ready for our maiden voyage. Let's just deposit this uh, stuff in here. And we'll cut her loose. Well, everything didn't explode immediately. So I think we're off to a good start. Oh, the ore detector. I almost forgot to put the ore detector on it. Goodness. I have the steel part for that. I thought I'd just put everything back. Okay, not too much stuff we'll need for that. So we'll add a control in there to make that uh, make that toggleable. This guy, because we don't need that to run all the time, and that actually will use up some energy. Let's see. Oh, this thing has got some performance to it. Goodness gracious. Is there, a, is there a thing for the handbrake? I don't actually know. I think I just have to hit P for it, baby. Oh, this is landing gear. Oh, but it does also do a handbrake of sorts, so... Here we go. Let's turn the ore detector on and see if we can find anything. Now, I don't think this thing should roll real easily, although it does already have some interesting mechanics. Is there anything in here that it's just not wanting to tell me about? Yeah, there's some ice down there. So I'm going to mine this ice real quick. I'll be back with you in just a second. 
All right, so there we go, we're back. Mine that ice, let's drop off the stone. 7K of stone for 700 ice. Although 700 ice from a meteor impact is actually quite good. It, it's kind of impressive. Let's go ahead and throw that in here. For now, at least. You see our gyroscope working there, we can almost pop a wheel. Oh yeah, we can pop a wheelie. <laughs> just, just from uh, just from the gyroscope. That's kind of funny. Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see what's going on a little better. Anything in there? Nope. Looks like I've already been there. <laughs> There's a pile in it. All right. Let's adjust our view so we can see what's going on. So I think that these uh, patches here usually have some ores in them. So let's just kind of drive around, see if we see anything yet. Yeah, some cobalt and some silver. Yes, we're gonna need some silver at some point. So let's just go ahead and mark those on the GPS. We don't actually need them right now. Oh, a silver AG, I think. Goodness, I got a new from current position this first. <laughs> I was just looking at it like, why is this not working? I think AG is silver, but I'll have to look into that in a minute. And don't show me on the head anymore. Let's go see about some others. See if we can find anything else. We really want some iron. That, that would be ideal. Is if we can find some iron. I don't think I've been to this yet. So let's go take a look. Well, apparently I have. Silver and cobalt, there's a rock, let's see what's in that rock. That might be the iron rock that we visited earlier. And this thing, uh, this thing really pulls to the side. I mean, I'm not steering at all, it just is pulling because it wants to. Okay, we got a cobalt rock there. I think I marked that already, I kind of remember seeing that. Let's drive over here, looks like we got some stuff going on. Yeah, it really wants to pull to the side for whatever reason. I'm not even touching the mouse. It wants to do that. Oh, we got a ice vein. All right. I think we had ice over somewhere else too. But I'll go ahead and mark it anyways. H2O. And it's a subsurface one. Okay. You know what? I never actually marked my uh Base. I should do that before we go adventuring too far. Alright, let's uh, let's put a marker up here at our home base. And then we'll go out and do some more adventuring. Alright. Yeah, I'll throw a little Martian reference in there. Actually, we will show that one. Let's just go ahead and delete that one off of the list of things. All right, let's go on a little adventure. Oh. Yeah, you can do a stoppy just by uh, gearing it up with the brake on, apparently. Ooh, let's see what that looks like. Some kind of ore there. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, this thing has some weird driving mechanics. It's definitely wanting to pull to one side or the other here. Ooh. Oh, an unknown signal. Let's go steal its uranium. Alright. So to recap, what we primarily need is some iron. A nice big iron mine would be just fantastic. Oh, that parachute patch actually has some decent stuff in it. That'll be moderately useful. Alright, nothing like a couple little computers to steal. Look at that. Doubled our supply of uranium. And those little reactor components will be useful. Now that we have those, we have enough to make a large reactor again, even though we probably still want to have a small 
couple small reactors for uh, our ships later. You know, every little bit helps. The 0.3 uranium definitely helps. Alright, what do we got here? More ice. This isn't the same ice I marked earlier, is it? No, that's a kilometer away. More ice! Alright, we'll mark this one, but we're not going to mark any more ice after this, because honestly this is already a whole lot of ice. And we don't need ice that badly. Let's wander around. Unfortunately it's getting a little dark. So... I'm not actually sure where that light's coming from. <laughs> I think it's my suit light. Yeah, I think it's my suit light <laughs> shining through the cockpit. I didn't even know you could do that. That's, that's pretty interesting. I forgot to put the spotlights on this thing. Yeah, I meant to. I think I might put a, uh, a little control switch so we can control our reactor from inside here. Alright, what do we got? Cobalt. Cobalt and silver. Isn't that what that other one was? We didn't just drive to it, so... Ooh. You gotta be really careful turning with these things. They are just very unstable. Very unstable. And you know what? I forgot to look up uh, what, what silver is. Hopefully it's AG. But you know what? We'll find out. We'll find out in a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put some spotlights on this thing to help it see a little better. Although interestingly, it seems like I have my suit light that works. Let's keep heading out this way. Oh, we got a rock here. If it's iron, that'll be good at least, you know, for a little bit. Nickel. Alright, we'll mark that on the GPS. Oh, I forgot to make a new one. Keep doing that, don't I? going to be for you guys to see. I know uh, on YouTube it can be sometimes difficult to see things when it's dark. So we might just head back and wait for daytime and I can do some random stuff until then. I think that's another nickel one. Yep, yeah, sure is. We'll mark it because we don't have any subsurface nickel yet. So these, uh, these rocks might be really useful. And I think I'm going to head back for now. I will work on some stuff, maybe try to finish this thing up a little bit. Well, it's nighttime. Obviously, I don't have the iron for everything, but we can do some finishing procedures. Meteor storm. And I will uh, get back with you guys once that's all done. So 
some sort of floating rocks. Are those are asteroids that are just really close to the planet. You see those up in the left? And like right above us? It's like a bunch of just asteroids just hanging out. Okay. I'm glad I didn't stop recording. Who's the astute among you? May have just seen this as well. We just found some uranium. Oh yeah. So forget going back, we are going to mine some uranium. That's what we're going to do. Alright, let's see. It's 80 meters. Is it just real deep? Or am I not on top of it? I think it's just really deep. Goodness. It's going to be quite a little journey to get down there to it. Let's back up some. And we'll uh, start going. So there's a trick to doing this so that you create a slope that you can walk up and down. I'm not very good at it, so expect us to be drilling out of this lake. Alright, welcome back. <clears throat> we are here at the uranium after <laughs> a most ridiculous drill. Uh, I might try to walk out of this with you guys on camera just so you can see how, how absurd this was. I, I am pretty surprised that there was some this deep down. This is way down there. So I'm going to mine a little bit of this and I will see you guys in just a second. Alright, you guys, there we go mined out a whole bunch of uranium. As you can see here, we got uh, 11k of it or so. So let's uh, see if we can get out of this thing or not. I'm, I'm not thinking we're going to, because, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Maybe if we crouch, we can... Alright, well, I will come back with you guys once I uh, remind my way out of here. All right, there we go, guys. I got out. I actually decided that instead of mining my way out, I was just going to activate my jetpack and fly out. And that worked out pretty well, actually. Let's see how much of that we can store there. See, that only holds 9K, and <laughs> the whole thing just sunk down on its suspension. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. I bet I'm going to roll it over or something on the way back. All right, well, let's, uh, let's head back to base. Well, admittedly, it doesn't feel so wildly overpowered now. 11k of uranium on board. So that's good news. It doesn't feel like it just wants to, you know, flip itself over. So I'll see you guys back at base. Alright, you guys, we're back here at the base. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that uranium. And uh, we'll hop on out. I set this thing. I think I turned off the... Yeah, I turned off the uh, uh, ore detector. That's the word I'm looking for. Goodness, that was hard to say. So yeah, when we refine things up here, we'll go ahead and throw that uranium in there. Don't listen to me. Okay, put some of this stuff back. the rest of those. There we go. Put that down there. Put that down there. Put some radio comms out there. We'll go stick this uh, three kilograms of uranium into this reactor here. Which has already burned a whole tenth of a kilogram. Let's see if we can see how much is left in that battery. Has it charged up? It's charged up a decent bit. 13 kilowatts output. I wonder what's taking all that. That's off turn that off while we're not using it. Gyroscope can only take one watt, so that's not it. Something's taking 12 kilowatts. I wonder what that is. That's, uh, that's weird. There's literally nothing operating on it. Oh well. That's really not that much power. We'll be okay. I mean, in the real world, that's a ton of power. But this ain't the real world. I wonder how much power we're generating for no reason here. Yeah, <laughs> more than enough to run the base. <laughs> Even though the sun is very much down. Alrighty, well I am going to do a little bit of work here at the base while it's dark out. I'm probably mostly taking apart that thing. See that? Look at those just asteroids just like hanging there. That's 
wonder if that's a bug. If stuff is spawning like way up where it's not supposed to be. Because that, that is just really weird looking. I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm going to do some disassembly, and I will talk to you guys in a bit.